What's going on with you guys? Just vibing to a great track uh, that was created uh, for our site, gospelmultitracks.com. Uh, absolutely love it. It's Happy by Tasha Cobbs. Uh, you can check it out on our website, gospelmultitracks.com. Um, been missing you guys for a little while here. You know, I've been kind of busy working on uh, all of my gospel multitrack stuff. It's been keeping me pretty tied up and pretty busy uh and i hadn't really been able to um do much video work for dynamics music uh been really hadn't been able to do much other work outside of this it's very intensive uh but for those of you who don't know check out the site gospelmultitracks.com i've been doing a lot of videos for gospel multitracks as well on our youtube channel uh so slide on over there if you're interested in subscribe i got a lot of videos over there on ableton uh live kind of like this one uh, and you can check it out over there. I think it's off, absolutely amazing. I kind of focus on my uh, main stage stuff here on this channel, but I kind of focus a little bit more on Ableton uh, on the gospel multi track side of things. OK, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's jump into it and let's talk about uh, what we're going to be talking about today, which is uh, how to create uh, a and create a headphone mix uh, inside of Ableton. That's basically what we're going to be doing is how we're going to create and set up a headphone mix. Had a question that came in, a couple of questions, actually, of people that wanted to make this happen. Uh, so I want to show you very quickly and very basically how you can create uh, a headphone mix inside of Ableton uh, for your band to be able to hear in a mix that you can send out to your house. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is go up here to create and we're going to create uh, we're going to insert as they call it insert a couple of return tracks here. So I'm going to hit insert uh, and it's going to create one return track and we're going to get another insert track here and we're going to name these respectively. So I'm going to hit command R and I'm going to name this one. We'll just say band mix or I'll just actually let's say we're going to do this for a drummer. We're going to do this drummer drummer. That's all we'll call it is drummer. Uh, then we'll go over here. Command R and we'll call this like house because that's what's going to go out to the house. That's what's going to go out to, um, you know, our sound system, our PA system, whatever the case may be through our direct box. Uh, or whatever, what have you. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do with these tracks is actually set an output for them. So right here, we're under here under our return tracks where it says audio two. I'm going to click here and I'm going to change it from master uh, to external out. All right. And immediately I get presented with when I click here, I get presented with a couple of options. Uh, I have four outputs on this particular interface that I'm working with. So I have four output options uh, that I can use. Uh, so one and two is always by default your stereo out mix is going to be what's going to come out of your headphones. It's going to be what's going to come out if you run it out to, you know, cords or two cables out of your left and right. Uh, stereo, what have you, it's your stereo mix. Three and four are my extra um, extra in outputs on this particular interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on three for the drummer mix, uh, and I'm going to click on four. Uh, I'm going to change this to uh, external out, just like the four, and then click on four here for this mix. But now I'm just doing drummer in house, but this could be that you decide, hey, you have a two channel interface and I want to run uh, out to the house from my headphone jack, just run out stereo one and two to the house. And I want to create a mix for me out of three and a mix for my drummer out of, to four or vice versa, whatever the case may be. But either way, that's how you want to do it. Now, if you're not seeing for some reason, if you click here and you have a multi-channel interface uh, or you have set up an aggregate device, even if you have a two channel interface and you need another uh, set of outputs, then you could easily create an aggregate device by going to your audio MIDI setup uh, app on your computer. If you're on Mac, uh, I think if you're on PC, I'm not sure how to do it on PC, but on Mac, you can easily create an aggregate device and you can include your interface as an output and your headphone jack as an output as well. So you can use both of those. Okay. So once you have established your outputs and your return tracks, then you're going to want to just basically go over here uh, to your um, output routing here. And what I've done already 
it's changed my cues and my click, which is my metronome. And I also have a click track, which is actually the drum loop. Uh, I have those, I have the cues and the clicks set to sins only. So they don't come out of the um, master output. They don't come out of one and two. And that can be easily done by just clicking on audio two and going to sins only. So that's where they're going to go to automatically. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to send, but we're creating a house mix and a drummer mix. So I'm going to send just uh, this by turning this knob here on a, which goes to my drummer track. I'm going to send the cues there and I'm going to send the click over here uh, to uh, the same mix or what have you. All right. And I'm not going to send cues and click to my house mix, just to my drummer mix or what have you. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the click track. And let's say the drummer says, hey, in my ears, all I really want to hear is the click track, the cues, the metronome and give me just a little bit of bass. You know, he said, give me a little bit of bass. You may give him like halfway uh, and give me a little bit of keys and you can leave all that other stuff out. All right. Same goes if you have a talk back mic, you may want to create an additional audio channel just on here and use uh, an input uh, like where it says audio from. That's where you can choose your actual input um, from your audio interface and plug a mic up to that. And you can have a talk back mic to where you can actually talk back to them. All right. So that's one way that you can set that up. And so now we have the drummer mix set up. So I'm going to solo just this channel and you're going to hear that it's only going to be coming out of the left side because of the way I have it right it routed but um that's the way you split your mix up and you'll see how it goes so I'm going to just play this part of the vamp so as you can see it's only coming only thing that's coming out of that side or out of that headphone mix or out of that 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 particular channel is just uh, the uh, click what we sent to it the cues the click uh, one two three the four. cues the click and the click track a little bit of keys and a little bit of bass and you can adjust these how you need to if you say hey give me more keys you know whatever the case may be and that may be all he wants to hear all right or uh, that may be all you want to hear and you want to send everything else out to the house all right so let's stop this now let's say you want to set up your house mix so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to start with click track and i'm going to go all the way over here to where it says synth which is my last track i'm going to hold down the shift key and i'm going to click on synth that selects all of these tracks uh, that i want to send out to the house so now i go here to my sins and i turn them all up all right so now i have my house mix let's solo my house mix and let's play it. And we're not going to have drums, you know, playing out live, so we'll beat those. So now I have my house mix. That's what I would run, and I would run an output from my interface out of that to the house or what have you. Or whatever output I decide to use for that, that's what's running out to the house. Then this is what's going through. Uh, my band ears or inside of my headphone mix or what have you so house as you can hear there's no click as in, 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 in the metronome nor is there a cues playing so you just got what you sent to that mix Take so it it's out. simply One, how that you would create a simple headphone mix uh, inside of uh, Ableton uh, there's various other ways that you can route it if you have more outputs I always suggest utilize those those outputs you can run them into headphone mixers there's several other options and we have a basic routing video here on our channel you can look at where it shows um, uh, how to actually do hardware route hardware live you know the actual hardware part of things uh, so you can check that out as well but that's a simple way that you can set up a headphone mix inside of Ableton. So hope this helped you guys out. You know how we do subscribe, uh, hit us with that little thumbs up, you know, do all those things like that. Share this video, tweet it, um, do all those different things like that. And, uh, holla at your boy.